And welcome back to Sports Weekly on IEMG. We've been spending a lot of time, of course, on the CIF Southern Section Winter Playoffs. We still have the Pacific Girls in the hunt for a CIF title uh, on the soccer side in Division 7. But as we go through the winter sports playoffs, we also had the mark, uh, the signal of the start of the spring sports season. That includes baseball and San Gorgonio baseball, traditionally one of the top teams in the area, opening with a big doubleheader against the Hillcrest Trojans from Riverside. So yes, as it's cold out there and we've been doing winter sports, a lot of basketball and soccer, it is baseball season. It's time to play ball. So let's go out there with San G, as we mentioned, taking on Hillcrest in their 2024 season opener. The Spartans with a runner on. Here's a hard grounder to shortstop and the throw to first will end the inning. So we move along with Hillcrest now threatening. They've got a runner on. Brian Chappell, the grounder to short here, hits it hard, but the Spartans looking to turn two. The throw to first Gets away. That'll allow Ryder DeJornet to score. He'll touch the plate for the Trojans. Sanji would limit the damage thanks to this great play at second by Udier Leano. Check it out, Leano. The throw to first for the final out of the frame. Good defense there by San Gorgonio. Meanwhile, Hillcrest, they sent Chris Sampson to the bump, getting the opening day start for Hillcrest. The strike out there for Sampson. He was rolling along, but Sanji picking up some hits here and there. Thomas Moreno, the base hit to right field for the Spartans. And that would pay off for San Gorgonio because later in the inning, Moreno now on third, and he comes home on the wild pitch to score. Oscar Rubio takes third on the play, and the throw gets away. So Rubio is right behind him. Two-run score for San Gorgonio. Hillcrest would be quick to respond because in the following inning, they would load up the bases. Sampson, and now at the plate, he had a great day from the mound, but now at the plate, rips one to right field. Adam Hernandez scores, and Kai Ramirez, come on down. That would be the start of a big inning for Hillcrest. Later, it's Nash Cloven. Clean single to left field. Matt Ramos, I think the football star, crosses the plate for another Trojans run. The Hillcrest hit parade continues as Braden Granados lifts a deep fly ball to right field. That's going to fall in fair, and Samson scores another Trojans run. Things would quickly unravel for San Gorgonio in this inning. Hillcrest loads up the bases. Ball four, and Cloven trots home from third. Bases still full, and here comes the wild pitch, and Granados will come home with another Hillcrest run. Kai Ramirez for the Trojans will follow up with an RBI Sack fly to right field. That'll bring home Ramos. Hillcrest pounds out 12 hits in the game, and they push across 14 runs to take game one of the doubleheader on opening day by a score of 14-5. to The Trojans made it a sweep of San Gorgonio, also taking game two by a score of 10-4. to So big opening day sweep for the Hillcrest Trojans. We'll see if Sanji can... Bounce back later this week as they return to action. 2024 high school baseball is here. And here on Sports Weekly, uh, we'll keep tabs on the Pacific Girls soccer team in the winter sports playoffs. But we will uh, slowly make that change to the winter sports. So baseball, softball, track and field, swimming, those sorts of things coming your way right here on Sports Weekly on IEMG. Uh, more baseball right now. A couple weeks ago, they've been going at it already for a couple weeks. Cal State San Bernardino kicked off their season back home at Fiscalini Field. A lot of home games at Fiscalini Field for the Yotes to start the season because we got great weather normally here in Southern California. So a lot of teams from out of the area come to us in San Bernardino to enjoy the sun, uh, the better temperatures, and to make sure we can get those baseball games in. We've had a little bit of rain Actually, a lot of rain, but they still got the games in. So let's take out the Fiscalini Field. Take it on. Well, Central Washington, they came down to us because I'd imagine they're getting a lot of wet weather up there. But they're down here at Fiscalini Field opening a four-game series. 
The Yotes trailing one zip early in this game, but they answer bases loaded with Garrett Macias at the plate, and he draws ball four. Macias will take the walk, and a run comes home. We're tied at one. Later, it's Fragoso at the plate. He's going to ground into the double play, but it's good enough to bring home Daryl Ruiz, and that gives Cal State San Bernardino the lead two to one. The Yotes trying to tack on another run, but Central Washington comes up with a big strikeout to end the inning. Later, it's going to be Central Washington now at the plate. They are threatening a runner in scoring position, a hard grounder to third. The throw gets away, but a great throw back to the plate gets the runner out. Good job there by Cal State. The Yotes go on to win this game, 6-3 the final score, but in total, the four-game series, Central Washington and Cal State San Bernardino each winning two, so it was a series split for the two squads. But Yotes getting a couple more wins at Fiscalini Field, trying to do what they did last year, right, and get to the Division II College World Series. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Sports Weekly on IEMG. You guys know what to do. Subscribe to the IE Media Group YouTube channel. My name is Pep Fernandez, and we'll see you next time on Sports Weekly on IEMG.